So I have one little tip for uh, people using Class Notebook or OneNote and also teaching programming somehow, either integrating it in their class or teaching a separate standalone programming class is in uh, OneNote. I came across this a while ago. You can embed code from this website, repel it, R-E-P-L-I-P, R-E-P-L dot I-T. Um, so you create an account. I log in using my uh, Google account. Let's see if I type that in correctly. And I already have a program made. So I use, I chose a program that integrates HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I click on that. So here is my program, and just to show you what it is, what it does, it's um, their flashcards for biology. So I have uh, three buttons on the left here, and then right here on the right is a big space for an image to appear. So what I'm going to do is click on DNA, and an image of uh, DNA pops up. And I click on the others, and the other uh, images pop up. But the video is not about the programming, it's about integrating it in OneNote. So um, with this program, what I can do is on the far left, there's a share button. And Embed is not supported with this free account, I think it is. But um, what I can do is take this share link, copy it, so Control C, and then skip over to OneNote. And right here, all I have to do is paste, copy, or control V, and it embeds it in the notebook. And then so I can resize this. This is kind of a window in a window. It's kind of weird, but I can resize that. If I wanted to make it the width of the notebook. Okay. And then expand the browser window here. And so it runs just like it did on the native website. You see the run button, it actually looks just like it. And a link back to the website here. But I can run it here. And it works the same way. And they can also tap through the other pieces of the code, the styling and the JavaScript there. So I'm in Alex's journal again. Let me go back up. Since it's a class notebook, what you may consider doing is distributing this uh, page to your students. So if I distribute this, I'll put this in their class notes section. And what I found was, and I did this before, so let me delete that. Um, it's not working, right? So then what I did was I highlighted everything, make sure it's all highlighted, copy, and you could do it the same way uh, here from the page itself is right click, move or copy, and I wouldn't do this to all my students, but just um, I would show them how if they needed to copy it for whatever reason, so they can borrow the code, um, open up Alex's notebook, select the class notes, and then copy it. He would only have the option to copy. He wouldn't have the option to move it. But I have the option to move it since I'm the teacher of this notebook. So copy. And then I go to back to his notebook. And that's the one I distributed, the one that doesn't work. The one that he copied looks like it runs. So if it's something you want to try out, Unfortunately, it's not uh, working through distributing the page. Maybe there's another way to do it. Maybe it's not supported right now. Uh, but if they copy it over to their notebook, as you can see, they're able, able to run it. I click Run. There it is down there. They're able to tab through the rest of the code, and it works the same way. So now they can um, adjust it, maybe change the photos around, look at how all this code works and, and works together. So there's my little demonstration of Repel It. I'll show you the site again. 
repl.it, repel it, and integrate it with OneNote and OneNote Class Notebook.